Los Angeles. Nate Oates has built Alabama into a men's basketball power with a clear philosophy. Be the most prepared coach who leads the most prepared team. Moments after the Crimson Tide upset North Carolina in the Sweet 16 on Thursday, Oates promised his team would enjoy a short-lived celebration, 30 minutes, tops, before turning its attention to Saturday's Elite Eight showdown against Clemson. The 49-year-old coach, who played at Division III Maranatha Baptist and coached at the high school level in Michigan for more than a decade, said he would have a full game plan, together by breakfast time. Sure enough, he arrived at Friday's media availability looking a bit haggard, admitting it had been a long night, with not much sleep. Such is life with Alabama one win away from its first Final Four. There is perhaps no better example of Oates's obsessive attention to detail and preparation than his heavy reliance upon an unheralded staff of graduate assistants. A handful of basketball devotees whose names don't even appear on the team's website. Indeed, their work crunching tape, studying opponents and creating game plans is a thankless, anonymous grind. Because of the seating configuration at Crypto.com Arena during the Sweet 16 game against North Carolina, there wasn't any room for several of Alabama's graduate assistants to sit in the bench area, so they had to be relocated to the front row of a designated fan section directly across the court. The graduate assistants sat in a ticketed section, in front of ordinary fans, and were barred from joining Oates's full-time staffers on the court during the game. Thankfully, they were at least granted temporary access credentials so they could enter the locker room at halftime and join Alabama's celebration on the court after the buzzer. Though they were physically separated from Oates and his full-time assistant coaches, the graduate assistants, dressed in matching black polo team shirts, kept up a loud chatter. Red. They never shut up. Throughout Alabama's 89-87 victory, with curious media members seated courtside peeking back to see what all the fuss was about, Alabama's graduate assistants hyped up their team, worked the referees, reinforced Oates's points of emphasis and repeatedly stole North Carolina's play calls throughout the nailbiter. Oates sang the group's praises Friday, noting they helped his full-time assistants prepare scouting reports and video breakdowns of upcoming opponents. We rely on our gas a lot. Oates said. And they're good, they're working ahead because I'm not going to look at the next team until we are done playing the current team. But they are, they're working ahead all the time. They've got everything ready to hand to the assistant in charge of it when they need to. Their work covers, everything, trying to listen to the video with the sound up, trying to get play calls off the sound, and looking at hand signals to get play calls. They've got it all in their head.